Hey there, everybody. We are live today on this installment, on today's installment. How about that? That sounds better. On today's installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning, we're talking about how to unleash your potential. If you don't think you have any or you don't know how to do that, you definitely need to stay tuned. We'll be right back. Ah, uh, if I learn how to work the buttons, it's still not working. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. I'll have to get me one of those little shortcut button things. That's hitting the keys on the keyboard. Apparently, it's too complicated for me. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, and this is the show. We talk about how to start growing, enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. Today, we're talking about how to unleash your potential. And by the way, we have a magnificent graphic for the YouTube video today. You'll have to switch over there around lunchtime and uh, and see it. And in fact, here's what you really should do. Uh, I'm going to put it down here in the comments. It's really hard to find. It's uh, youtube.com slash Tom Rigsby. Uh, you should go over there. Yeah, Joe, you're, you're a riot. Uh, you should go over there and subscribe and ring that little bell so that you can be notified when this video goes up so you can see the graphic. It's fantastic. All right. Anyway, uh, do what Joe, when you get here, do what Joe and Catherine have done already. Leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning. Uh, all of those things, any of those things, whatever of those things appeals to you. This week we've been talking about dreams, how they're big and scary, how they should challenge you. Today you're going to get a challenge. Monday I ask you if you could really articulate uh, Monday, I ask you if you could articulate what that big, hairy, audacious goal is. Now there's a gnat here. What's that big, hairy, audacious goal, that thing, that dream that's so big that it scares you a little bit? And and it's more, probably more importantly, you're really reluctant to share. Now, I was speaking with a group yesterday, and I I told them most often, that happens because we, I mean, we, we're we afraid that fear like that comes from two places, right? One is ego, right? We're not afraid of, if I share my, my big dream with you, it's not going to make you want to, you know, pick up sticks and rocks and, and pummel me to death. So it's not fear of injury except to my ego. That's what we're afraid of. It's a little bit of embarrassment. That's why we're afraid to speak in front of groups and things like that. Fear of damaging the ego. The other one is fear of being held accountable. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Could that be it? If I put it out there, if I share it with everybody, then somebody might ask me about it later. Oh man. And I realize the irony of the topic I'm covering today and then who I'm having breakfast with later. So that's kind of funny. Anyway, here's our quote today. This one comes from Henry Kaiser. Live daringly, boldly, and fearlessly. Taste the relish to be found in competition and having put forth the best within you. And that really is the, the, the piece of that that I wanted to pull out. Put forth the best that is within you. We have, you've heard me say before, we're all born uniquely gifted, talented, and placed. We have that potential packed within us. And it's kind of like a spring, right? Potential is stored energy. That spring in a, in a jack-in-the-box. When you close, you cram it down in there and close the lid. There's stored energy in that spring. There's potential. And, but it's not until the door flips open and the thing jumps out of there that you actually realize the potential stored in that spring. The same is within you. You have potential stored within you. You just have to 
act in order for that potential to be realized. So here's my challenge for you today. I told you I was going to challenge you today. Here's my challenge for you today. I want you to share in the comments on Facebook. And I need to be specific about that. I was working on a solution for that and the technical challenges were great. And the time ran out. So today, if you're not watching on Facebook, I want you to come to Facebook. Just look up Tom Rigsby on Facebook. Can't miss it. If you are watching on Facebook, I want you to leave in the comments that one sentence that articulates your big, hairy, audacious goal. That dream that you are reluctant to share, right? It's time to, how do he say it? Live daringly, boldly, and fearlessly. And because it would be hypocritical of me to ask you to do that without me sharing my own, I'm going to share mine as well. I'm not even, yeah, do the hustle. I, the hustle, I might be offended by that, Joe. I'm going to share my big, hairy, audacious goal with you. One of them. Let's see, which one can I pick? I have seven up there on the wall. I have one in particular that I don't like to share with people. That's the one I'm going to share. I'll even put it in writing later on after we're done, but I'm going to share it with you out loud right now. Someday, one day, before I'm done with all of this, I will share the stage with Tony Robbins. There you go. That's it. That's the big, hairy, audacious goal. That's the, that's the one that I don't have on a placard up here on the wall. I don't want anybody to know that. Because then that way, you know, here's the thing. If I don't share it with anybody and then I don't make it, then nobody knows but me. That's that fear of being held accountable. So, whether you are a regular attender or this is the first time you're watching the show, wow, you got here on a great day. Because today's the day we're going to start making things happen. This week, we're talking about making dreams come true. And the first thing you have to do is be able to share it with people. So there you go. I want to see those in the comments. And I'm pretty sure that if I don't see them in the comments and I see you back on the show, I might just have to ask you. So I said that yesterday, the event where I spoke yesterday. And I actually say this pretty often when I'm speaking that, I, because I do, I like to get feedback from the audience. If you don't give me feedback, I might just call on you. Same rules apply. All right. So that's it. It's not any more complicated than that. No more homework today. Well, that actually might be easier to accomplish. <laughs> actually, that probably would be easier to accomplish. I like that better, Catherine. See? Now, here's another fringe benefit. I didn't even plan this, this bonus content material this morning. When you share it with other people, you can refine it and make it better. I like that better. One day he's going to share the stage with me. If you follow through, you will be the primary and Tony will be the secondary. He'll be my guest. He'll be my guest. There we go. I like that. All right. No other homework today. Just leave that comment down there. Let me know what it is. Oh, and see, that got me all derailed. Here's the other thing. If, uh, if you get value or, you, or you're challenged by our content this week, please leave a heart, thumbs up, star, like, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you're watching and listening. And I want you to think of that one person in your network who has a big dream that you know they're sitting on, that they're scared to share or reluctant to share or hiding from the world, send them this video. We'll get it out of them one way or the other. All right, that's it. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. I will talk to you tomorrow. See if I can get these buttons to work. And uh, we'll see how you do leaving your comment down below. All right, talk to you tomorrow.
All right. So first thing, I did get the buttons to work, so that's kind of nice. And uh, second thing, taking over the world, Doctor Evil, it's not going to work. You, you got to come up with something other than that. There we go. I like that. That's good, Joe. And Catherine, yours is awesome too. We can make that one happen. That one, we can make that one happen. So awesome. Good on both of y'all. Y'all have a great day.